Moving on to other news tonight, a nine year old DC boy is in the hospital tonight after being caught up in gunfire over the weekend. The shooting happened on Hayes Street Northeast. The boy was an innocent bystander. Jennifer Donlin is live now from the scene. Jen, um, how's the child doing tonight? Do we know? We're told he's still in critical condition and homicide detectives still have this case. They take the critical cases and monitor. So here's the deal. Nine years old, him and his father, his father's a trainer at Sugar Ray Leonard Boxing Gym. The nine year old trains with him. Father and son are now at the hospital. Father's been there around the clock after what happened inside one of these apartment complex parking lots. Shots rang out. Today we spoke with the victim's sister and she wants everyone to pray. I just would like the community to keep praying for my little brother. Prayers for a nine year old boy who was shot in the head and fear in a community after gunfire broke out at the Mayfair Mansion complex in Northeast Friday night. We was having a problem with crowds gathering on this parking lot. It was around 9 p.m. Police sources explained a car pulled into one of the parking lots. Men got out and started firing at the crowd. At least one person in that crowd fired back. Two men were wounded. You can't have your kids outside playing. It's sad. One of the flying bullets hit the nine year old boy who was also outside at the time. The gunshot wound to the head so critical, police did not wait for an ambulance and raced the little boy to Prince George's County Hospital Center themselves. He was then medevaced to Children's Hospital, where he went into emergency surgery. He's fine. He's strong. It's ghost town out here. Everybody's scared. You know what I'm saying? We fear for our lives. Abdul Shakur says he understands what lies ahead for the boy. Shakur, now 33, Three, said he still needs his cane to walk after he was shot when he was just 12 years old in Southeast. Another flying bullet meant for someone else. It's hard to get back to society. Right now I suffer from depression due to the gunshot, you know what I'm saying? And I fear for uh, being around people because, you know, it's hard to trust people nowadays. Now all thoughts turn to a nine-year-old who's in the fight for his young life. He's always happy. He's always moving always wanted to be around people. We all just praying. Now, this little boy's mother has been at the hospital. Mother and father have been at the hospital since Friday night. Right now, no charges. Both men who were wounded, the two adult males, one was released from the hospital. The other one is said to be doing just fine. We're waiting updates from D.C. police as they investigate this case. But as we just said, all thoughts right now are with this nine-year-old little boy. Reporting live from Northeast, I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Jen.